The world has long been awake to Amsterdam's charm. It's a city of freedom, a city of openness. It's a city of sin, a city of nature, and the country's capital. And it's a city that's right in our backyards. Hussy, the holidays are over. It's dark still. It's cold still. It's It gets dark really quick still, <laughs> and it gets wet. It's quite wet in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. What a boy got to do in the Netherlands when we're at home in between work. Well, I think because we always travel around, right, to and explore other cities, uh, but we don't even know. Have to do the touristy stuff here. Exactly, because we don't really know about our own city. So I think it would be really fun to spend our days off to just roam around. One of the most liberal city in the world, Amsterdam. And that's the thing. So whenever we're traveling, we're always hopping one from one place to. We get home. We're so exhausted and between work, we just like to cuddle up and really just stay in bed and cook food at home. But have we ever actually got to really know? Own city, and I'm wondering about that too. When you're traveling, you're always seeing places, going to places new. But when you're at home, what's it like? Do you know your city like a tourist? It's great. I love how the old church, the old church, is just standing tall and looking over the red light district. And that's red light district. If you don't know. So much charm and character, especially how all these houses are all like slanted and wonky. And from the red light district to Chinatown, Amsterdam is kind of like a labyrinth, a little maze to wander around and explore. This is my favorite toko in. <laughs> In Chinatown in Amsterdam, literally you can get my incense, you can get everything here. Not even just groceries, which you know get all the special ingredients, but lanterns for the New Year. But look, I love this store because you know, like Asian ingredients, gotta have them. It's a little hard. I can't get, can't eat white food all the time. You want watercress? We have it. This is a nice take one, leave one book shelf. That's just right in front of this door of this house. Did you know that the reason why the houses in Amsterdam are tilted is because they're all built on stilts. Yes, actually, that's the word. <laughs> How did you know? Well, I'm from this country. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you were born here. <laughs> you, you were born in Amsterdam, so... But the Amsterdam used to be a swamp when they first found it. So technically, to keep all these houses from sinking, they put it on stilts. But, I don't know, are they still sinking? I think so. They still have good stilts on it. Yeah. Renovated and new stilts. And oh, new stilts. Yeah. Okay, that's cool though. And that's why over time, they become a little whoop, whoop. That building over there is the head sky fan, the museum. Which is also the maritime, the maritime museum. That's the part today. That's literally what I said. Sky fan. <laughs> okay. part. Building. 
What an incredible courtyard inside the National Maritime Museum. literally feeling like I'm exploring underneath the big church in Game of Thrones. It's such a medieval place. But this is the underground cellar of the Maritime Museum. Does it lead? That is. Alright, so the National Maritime Museum is divided into the different directions of the wind. So on one side is north, west, east, and south. But we are the compass, and so let's see which way can we start to explore the museum. Stop. Oh, wait. I put both of my hands up. Okay, okay, do it again. Okay, ready? Tell me where to stop. Stop. A little dizzy, let's go this way. It is north. To know about Amsterdam and to know about the Dutch is to know about their seafaring history. How Amsterdam became the city it is today with all those beautiful canal houses is thanks to the Golden Age when the Dutch sent out all their ships to explore the world and brought about goods and promoted trade. I'm a little bit of a geek and a nerd when it comes to this, so there's a huge atlas map section of the museum that I'm obsessed with right now. I'm like gawking at every single map because the far reaches of the Dutch during the Golden Age went to New Hollandia, which was Australia, New Zealand, which is named after a province here, and also South America, Brazil, Indonesia, South Africa. It keeps going on and on, as well as New York, which was used to be called New Amsterdam. This is how Amsterdam became the most important trading city in the 17th century in the Netherlands, but also in all of Europe. Alright, I think this is my favorite room in the museum. <laughs> Look at this. I feel like I'm a sailor lost at sea. I had to use some guiding stars to find my way. As part of the museum, we can also explore a life-size ship of Amsterdam. Life on board a ship is no joke. It's cramped quarters here, rough sailings at the seas. Oh. This is the gunpowder room we are in. I feel a little seasickness. Wow, this ship is huge! <laughs> Looking out onto the Amsterdam Harbor right there. <laughs> That's the Nemo Museum. It's a science museum here in Amsterdam, but doesn't it look like a part of a ship? And if you want a good local secret spot, you talk to the Nemo Science Museum, which is free actually for anybody, you get a grand view of Amsterdam and its port. Here we have a whole map of Amsterdam that 
will show us what we are looking at. Wow. Gloria City. difficult than you think, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So close. for the science, but uh, the best part of the museum is the bubbles. <laughs> Ooh, that's so good! Balance, it says. It's okay, you don't have to film it. Okay. Are you okay? I hate to go a little more forward. Yeah, like that. How are you doing it? How's my balance? What did you say? Uh, quite in the middle, quite good. No. You have to, you have to stretch your other leg. 
Yeah, yeah the stretcher, yeah, like that. There's no way I can bounce. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here, like this. There's no way I can do that, bro. Do you feel happy now? I'm actually quite terrified. I know that's supposed to be a cuddle machine, but you don't cuddle like that. If you enjoyed our Dutch mischief in our own country, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe for more adventures.